It's Saturday. Let's light some spray foam on fire. Last week, we did a test on these five can foams right here. We're going to go back up into the attic, put a flame to them, and see how they perform. All right, so if you want to see how these cans performed from the beginning, check the link that I'm going to put down in the description of this video, and it'll give you a real good judge of what to expect out of each brand. Uh, we're probably not going to tell, tell the family about this experiment today, just in case we, uh, we burn the house down in the process. Uh, let us head upstairs. Okay, so we're going to start with the Spray Man spray foam. Uh, the Spray Man, when we applied it originally to the wall, went on pretty thin, and it didn't really foam up as much as a lot of the other foams are. So let's see how it does when we put a flame to it. So this one's a little bit surprising. When we put a flame to this, it actually ignites almost like it's a, a material that's meant to burn. Uh, I didn't expect it to actually fire up this drastic. Let's go to a lighter, maybe a little bit less on the heat end and see what a lighter does. So when we put a match to this one, it burns up just as much as when we put the torch to it. So the second it gets through that initial skin coat and gets to the foam, it ignites almost like it's a flammable material. So if you're concerned about a fire rating, the foam isn't really meant as a fire rating, but this one's definitely not gonna do it. Okay, the Ixer Pro. So this one, when we did the initial application of this product, I was a little disappointed with it. Uh, we got about half the amount of board feet that the can had promised. So the can says you should get about 20 board feet out of it. I, I remember us getting maybe 10 to 12 board feet out of this can. So let's see how it does with a lighter to it. So when we light this up, you can see it is a little bit better than the last one, not quite as bad as the Spray Man. It does ignite. So again, once it gets through that initial skin coat there, it does ignite the foam. And when we put the actual torch to it, you can see it, it fires right up. Uh, so this one, I would put it in the same classification as the Spray Man. All right, the Acfix. So this one I was originally impressed with. This one we got the closest amount of board feet out of the can. I think we were about 18 board feet out of this one. And this one foamed up just like it should. When we put the lighter to it, you can see the first two spots that I hit with the lighter performed pretty well. The third one gave a little bit of extra flame to it. And then when we put the map gas to it, you can see it ignites just like the other two. So I would say that so far this one does have the most retardancy to it. Uh, it's definitely not fire retardant in any way, and it does ignite, so again, keep that in mind. Okay, the Vega Fire Block. So the, this is listed on Vega Bond's website as a fire block spray foam, and they say it's designed to delay the spread of fire. So again, keep in mind, none of these are fireproof in any way. It's really meant to slow the spread of the fire. And you can see when we put a lighter to this, it does have a little bit of a delay before it ignites, and when we put the map gas to it in the torch, it does ignite fairly easily, which obviously we're putting a higher heat to it, so it's going to. All right, and the Stanley. So the Stanley and the Acfix, I would say both performed the best in this test. Uh, when you put a lighter to either one of them, you can see there is a pretty strong delay before you have any ignition on the fire itself. When you put a torch to either one, it does fire up pretty good. But again, this isn't really meant as a fire retardant coating in any way. And most people are gonna cover the wall with drywall or maybe a, a metal siding on the inside of a barn or something. So let's keep in mind that none of these here are really meant to be fireproof in any way. You know, it is the inexpensive way to insulate something. Uh, if you do need a fire retardancy, you could coat these with like a DC 315, which is a fire retardant coating that you would paint on there. Uh, it's a pretty expensive product, but if you have a situation where maybe you have a lot of sparks flying or a welder or something, some sort of a situation where you need that, that might be the best way to go if you plan on going this route. I know they may not warranty it through the paint manufacturer because I'm sure they don't test every Amazon spray can to see if it works, but it's out there, you know, you could try that. So we do plan on running a fire test between an open cell foam and a closed cell foam in the future here. Uh, we're going to run it with and without paint and see what the difference is there. Uh, we're not going to do it anytime soon. It might take us a month to get there due to the two feet of snow we got outside and the eight degree weather. 
But if there's certain things that you want to see answered in that video, put them down in the comments and we'll do our best to get to that. Thanks for watching.